Hello YouTube, so it's Mark again from Mending Things, following up on the G8 um, trunnion failure that I had in my previous video. So I had um, two uh, trunnions that I showed that had broken races, you could see with them assembled, and there's one uh, of broken races, and there's the other. So I disassembled those uh, to lift uh, two uh, rocker arms that had the had there was one of these broken uh, bearing outer races on two different uh, trunnions on two different rocker arms. So I, I took them apart, very carefully counted the uh, needles in both the broken side and the side on that trunnion that wasn't broke. On the side that wasn't broke, there were 33 needle bearings. Uh, in each of them and on the side that was broke there were 32 um, which accounts for the two needle bearings that I did find uh, in the cyst in the uh, oil pan uh, so far I haven't I've only taken one other part but let's talk about these so first of all uh, this is one of the uh, shafts and you can see the bottom side of that shaft uh, of the trunnion has a considerable amount of damage and wear to it. Top side's fine, bottom side uh, is war. Same on the other trunnion that had that failure. However, uh, the next one I took apart, which was uh, per, uh, you know one that didn't show any signs of uh, broken uh, races or anything, uh, we have the same wear. This is probably less than, well, it's about 5,000 miles um, on, this, uh, on this build. So these have less than 5,000 miles on them. And it's only had, in, in that 5,000, had two oil changes, uh, one at uh, 500 miles uh, and one at uh, 3,000 miles, 3,500. 3, and both of those were with uh, um, synthetic, full synthetic oil. So, um, you know, this is, uh, and, and it went through startup with pre-lube. Uh, there was uh, engine assembly lube on everything, you know, prior to going in. So, and, and it's never completely lost oil pressure. When it did go down, it was, uh, you know, 11, 11.6 pounds of oil pressure. So, uh, uh, and that, that happened I was actually logging at the time that it went down, so it, I, I do know exactly what the oil pressure was. Um, you know, so that's kind of bothersome. I have actually seen this since the failure. Someone showed me uh, that does this kind of work, uh, examples of this. They see this apparently all the time with uh, um, needle type, um, needle bearing uh, trunnion upgrades. So uh, that's uh, enough of a reason right there not to run uh, needle-based uh, trunnion bearings, I believe. Uh, that's a lot of material that's going to be getting into your oil. Uh, so that, that in itself is a good enough reason not to run it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the rest of them apart and look for anything odd on that and see what else I find. Uh, if there's anything else, I'll add to it. Very next uh, rocker that I disassembled, uh, Trunnion, had uh, this was not obviously broke. It, I mean, I couldn't tell that it was broke from looking at it when it was assembled. But as soon as I um, pushed the uh, top Trunnion, or actually when I pushed it, it was turned around this way. So I pushed the, the shaft down so it fell through. And when it fell through, that piece came out of that race. So it could have happened as the shaft was coming through, but it, it's pro probably more, than, more likely that it uh, was already fractured as the other two had and was just kind of setting in place and hadn't come out yet. Uh, so that, uh, 
there and there was 33 uh, needle bearings in that bearing and uh, there's 33 in the other so so far I haven't found any more uh, missing needles but uh, I thought that was interesting that looks like that was a uh, imminent failure as well and the shaft looked the same as the previous ones wore I don't know if I can get it maybe right there in the camera I think you can see the crack in that race I'll try to it's on the left hand side there and you can barely see a crack you can feel it when you rub across it so this one was just about to fail <laughs>